to Whitehaven, Cumberland, came the Blackest Friday for 37 years. It brought death to 104 of the town's miners. Trapped by an explosion in William Pitt, Britain's oldest undersea mine, the men were imprisoned in a rock tomb. At the pit head, the Bishop of Penrith spoke words of encouragement to the rescue parties. Half a mile below the surface of the Solway Firth, other miners toiled to free their comrades. Once below, they had to overcome gas fumes and fallen rock. Lord Hindley, coal board chairman, came at first news of the disaster. In relays, rescue teams carried on the grim fight against death. After 30 hours, all hope was abandoned. But outside, wives and mothers still waited. Their men would not return. A hundred and four of them had given their lives in the battle for coal. The whole of Britain mourns the loss of the men of Whitehaven. But with the vital part the mines must play in the survival of Britain, new men of courage will come forward to take the place of those who died at Whitehaven.